Welcome back crafty cuties. Today is my first tutorial and we are going to be making pocket letters. Pocket letters are a really fun way to swap with a pen pal. Jeanette Lane created them and today I am also going to be using her first ever pocket letter brand inserts. And I do have a review on these coming, so be on the lookout for that if you are wondering how I liked them. But let's just get on into it. If you are new to pocket letters, I will quickly go over everything you need. So you are going to need a trading card pocket insert, you're going to need paper, and you're going to cut your squares into two and a half by three and a half. And then you are going to need anything that you want to decorate your pocket letters with. It's really very simple. Um, if you are new to it, it might seem a little overwhelming, but honestly, you can just start out simple, pick out some paper you like, and just get to decorating. I do apologize, there is a glare throughout the video. Um, I have not quite figured out my lighting for craft videos, and my camera was going in and out of focus. This is the first time that I have filmed at this angle. So let me know how you guys like it. Um, maybe I can kind of figure out the focusing and lighting and make it a little bit better. I'm just picking out some things that I want to use on this. I find that it's much easier for me if I get kind of a base idea and then pick things to add in as I go along. The only requirement to pocket letters is to make sure to include a letter to your pen pal. Everything else is open game. So I am just writing Dear Jeanette on this little typewriter. I am actually sending this one to the creator of pocket letters. She is super sweet and just really inspirational and I thought it would be fun to send her something that she invented. Created? Invented? I don't know. And a lot of these paper embellishments that you will see me use are things that I actually made myself. I did actually film a DIY video on how to make all of these, but I thought it would just be too many details to include that in this video. If you guys do want to see that video in the future, then let me know down below and I will be sure to edit it and maybe add in a few more things to help you guys with ideas and just help you be able to make your own paper embellishments and that's really one way that I kind of save money with pocket letters is just to make my own stuff and it's a lot of fun. So you'll see me throughout the video just kind of get ideas and see how I like it, see how it looks. Sometimes I switch things around um, and I kind of keep all of the things on top of my pockets before I decide to finalize them and fill the pockets. This is just a little embellishment cluster that I made, um, just using scraps actually, and the little hello sign is actually from a card that someone else gave me in a pocket letter. Um, I do reuse pocket letter stuff all the time, and that's another thing about swapping with people who also make pocket letters on a regular basis, is you are always going to be getting stuff that you can use again. And I highly recommend repurposing your things. I do actually keep my pocket letters, like the main front of it, um, I keep them in a binder just to look back on and for memories, but I do actually use all of the things that I receive in the back. And you'll see I rounded all of the corners. I really like the look of that. I think it's neat and clean. That was a little shaker. And now that I have everything planned out that I want for the front, I'm just kind of picking out the paper I wanted for my letter. And I also picked out all of the things that I want for the back of the pockets. This, um, these post-its are so cute. I got these in a pocket litter from Jenny and uh, I included some of those. And then I'm just making my own envelope here. I highly recommend this envelope punch too, guys. I got it for $10 at Tuesday morning and now I honestly never have to buy envelopes again and you can make them in any size that you want. So I'm just making one to fit the exact dimensions in the pocket litter and I'm just putting some little um, stamped paper in there. A little valentine that wasn't in focus there, but we'll just go with it. Some ribbon. I love those little thread bobbin holders. And I made a little journal, I just sewed it together. And it says, love you to pieces. A little kitty cat holder for my washi. I love 
giving out and receiving different um, washi samples. And then I made that little paper clip. All of the things that I make too are just super, super easy. I just stuffed everything in my pocket letters. The one little thing I will say about these pocket letter brand um, inserts is that these are probably not for someone who tends to overstuff their pocket letters, which I usually do, but I do prefer the look of a cleaner, less stuffed pocket letter. And they are really, really high quality and they're super nice because they have a flap on the top so that nothing falls out, especially when you fold it. That was really, really nice. But I did have to hold back a little bit when I was stuffing them and it was a little bit harder to get them in because there is that flap. But again, they are really high quality and if you want, um, you can just see my whole review and first impressions. So I just added some washi to the side there and used my hole punch. I had to actually look for a different hole punch because my first one didn't work. There's a little peek of the back, but I will go through and show you everything in detail at the end. And then I just added a little pinwheel that I made and tied it with some lace. Normally I can't fold mine like that. Oh, I forgot to put this in, so I wanted to show you, but normally I can't fold mine into thirds because I overstuffed them. And I was really happy that I was able to do that with this one. And hey, look, I am using a pocket letter delivery envelope. Um, that's a little sneak peek for what is to possibly come in the pocket letter shop along with some stickers and I'm really really excited so she sent those to me with the pocket letter inserts as a little sneak peek and I really hope she starts to sell those soon I think a lot of people will love them so here is the finalized pocket letter um, I hope that this was helpful to you guys and gave you some ideas uh, if you do make a first pocket letter after watching my video, please tag me on Instagram. I will leave my information below. And I had a lot of fun with this and I had fun filming it for you guys. I actually stayed up until 3 a.m. filming this, but that's okay because it was worth it. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I'll